How's it going guys? Couple housekeeping things before we get started. First thing is I just want to say if you are subbed to the channel, thank you very much. And if you're a new sub uh, over the past couple weeks, thank you as well. Um, I haven't been posting as much, but I've been still getting a decent amount of subscribers. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, I was at 200 and now I'm at 236 or something like that. So I just want to say thank you. I really am trying to grow this channel a decent amount. So, you know, every sub count. So if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. The second thing, as you can tell, as this thing penetrating, as this thing comes into frame is I got a new microphone. Um, I ended up picking up the blue Yeti microphone. One of them, I don't know exactly which one it was, um, kind of like their mid range one, but one of the things that has been bothering me a lot in the last couple of videos I made is just kind of my sound quality. So just want to, you know, invest into the channel a little bit, picked up a new microphone and I hope this video sounds really good um, and sounds better. I'm going to probably make a few videos with it before I do a full on review on it, which I will be doing. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into what we're talking about in today's video. So this past weekend on Saturday night, I ended up going out and shooting some night portraits. Um, my good friend Noble, his girlfriend wanted, she's a ballet dancer and wanted photos in the city with like ballet shoes and ballet gear on. So it was cool, a cool experience and I was really looking forward to it because I like getting creative with portraits at night. As you guys know from this channel, I've posted a couple of night photography portrait uh, videos before. So we're going to do this one a little bit different instead of just like a See in a second and it's just super funny like she's just posing in her ballet gear in the middle of the street and everybody is like honking at us and you know saying things to us uh which is kind of annoying but at the same time it was pretty funny because we're just like the center of attention for everybody driving here and this is the first photo that i absolutely love this is actually three exposures um and a one so i did a couple of long exposures for the background um she wasn't in frame for those and I ended up combining two of those long exposures because on the right side, I liked one photo better. And on the left side, I liked another photo better. Um, so this is two exposures for the background. And then I took another exposure without moving the camera, um, just with different settings of her in the middle. And then ended up just combining the three in Photoshop and super happy with how this, with how this came out. Ended up doing a 16 by nine crop. Um, and there's just so much going on in the background, but then at the same time, she's lit really nicely from an on oncoming traffic. So all the headlights are just kind of lighting her face. The rest of the photos in this location came out really cool. Um, just basic photos, handhelds, pretty open aperture. I'll put the settings on the screen. And the best part about this location is that the building on the left and the right both have red lights. So that's why you kind of see the red, the red on like the street. And you see the red backlighting her hair, which I think is probably the best part about these photos. Um, and overall, these photos are really cool. I think for the I've shot here before, so I knew exactly how I was going to edit these photos and really just pretty much bringing out the blues and the reds, the blues from the cities in the background or from the city in the background. And then the red tail lights and the red from the two buildings that are surrounding us. Um, and I pretty much desaturated everything else, which is blue aquas and reds. And then obviously her skin tones. Super happy with how those came out. And then for the next location, um, this one was probably the one we were the most iffy on, um, but there's just a line, like a row of palm trees and they're all like bottom lit going up to the palm trees. And these shots came out okay, as you'll see in a sec. That one came out pretty cool. Um, I think, I wish it was, it looks a little too creepy. It looks a little bit too, I mean, I guess like Halloween's coming up, but I don't know. I wish it was lit a little bit more in the front while still having like that really intense like up lighting, but it's not the most flattering shadow. And I think the second photo here was definitely the best one of the set. Um, while it is a little uh, creepy in a way, very like campfire horror story time. Um, I do think it still looks pretty cool. It has a really cool mood and like cinematic feeling to it. The best part about it, in my opinion, is at the bottom of the frame, you have those lights coming between the palm trees and then it's sort of like giving that little backlight to her like legs and like her knees. And I think that looks really, really cool. Um, and then of course you have the guy in the background and I didn't feel it warranted me photoshopping him out, but overall not too bad. 
And then this next shot was definitely a little bit more experimental. Um, I was shooting either on a 35 millimeter or 85 millimeter for this shot. I was on the 85 millimeter 1.4 Sam Yang. And I wish I had a 70 to 200 for this shot. It was like a pretty far shot, 30 yards as you can see. Um, but it just, there's just these really cool water, like fountain water feature thing. I wanted to kind of play with the light and the reflections, which I ended up not getting too many reflections, but I still think these shots came out pretty cool. Um, I just really like the foreground element, cars in the background, street posts. Uh, it's just like a very, it's a very distanced shot, but I overall like the mood of it. And it's pretty funny because this is like really cropped in compared to the original shot. And of course, when you're shooting on the Canon R6, one of the bad things is that it is only 20 megapixels, not even 24 megapixels, 30 megapixels. So you don't always have the freedom to crop in, but I was able to crop in on this photo. And this was also, also shot at a pretty high ISO. And it just shows you how good the R6 is and how good the sensor is. Uh, don't let the megapixel count fool you ever on this camera. I've been pleasantly surprised several times. Uh, but yeah, these photos are really cool. I did a couple of different edits, some warmer, some cooler, some moodier. moodier. Um, this was probably my favorite right here. I like her pose on this one. I like the way that she's backlit between the post and her back. Um, and I just like the colors I got out of this one a little bit more. And I like the reflection of the red tail lights on the water. And this shot was pretty much shot on the same post or the post like right next to the post we were just shooting at. But then she showed me a photo on Instagram that she kind of wanted to copy, um, which was taken during the day. But it was on a light post next to a street with kind of the street in the background. Um, so that's what we tried doing. And these shots overall came out okay, nothing too crazy. Um, there's not really much to say. Uh, I kind of like this shot a lot. Um, however, the one thing I do wish with this shot is it is pretty cinematic. It's very long, 16 by 9 crop. She's like very pushed to like the right side of the frame. So it's like it feels very like anamorphic in a way. The only thing is I wish she looked at me or I wish I would have told her to look at me. Uh, because right now she's just kind of hidden and like if her face was showing obviously she would be the subject but right now it feels like it's just the scene you know there's not like a real like subject this one came out pretty nice the the one thing i love about this photo is how compressed usually you want to leave room for your subject to breathe on all parts of the frame but i do like how her feet are pretty much like touching the bottom of the frame and her the top like where her hands are is like super close to also getting out of the frame uh, and it kind of just like adds like this like really height element to her and like it makes her feel really tall really big compared to the rest of the scene i don't know i i really like the way this image looks i like the warm tones on the on the left side and the cool tones on the right side as well um and then of course the tail lights and all the bouquet this is like bouquet city like there's a lot of bouquet happening here which is a little distracting in my opinion but it's not too bad and this is probably the location I was most excited about. Um, as we were walking to the first location, I saw this spot and I was like, oh, we're going to go back to here and see what we can do. Um, and it's pretty much just, it was outside of this restaurant. And this is like the far corner of it where there's just all of these lit up uh, walkways with LED, like white LEDs, like pure white LEDs. So I was like, we could probably get some really cool lighting here. And I did a couple of different edits for each one. The one thing I absolutely love about this image um, especially in the one on the left is the like the white white glow um, in contrast to the top of the frame where it's just like trees and it's warm I don't know it gives like a really cool like contrast between like this like modern technology like feel on the bottom to then this more nature warm homey feel on the top um, and it's just lighting her really nicely in my opinion um, I like this shot a lot. I kind of like, you know, the frame's cool, very basic, uh, very symmetrical. But what I do love is the tree in the background kind of acting as a little bit of like a, like almost like a halo in a way, you know, just like a really cool background element to contrast from the foreground. This shot was, I shot this through the glass and I wasn't hundred percent sure how I was going to feel about it, but I think it ended up working pretty well. I always love trying to shoot through things um, or getting like a prism and shooting with the prism in front of the lens and stuff like that, which I didn't have a prism here, but being able to shoot th through the glass was great. And then this shot might be one of my favorites. If not, the first one's definitely my favorite. This might be my second favorite. What I do love about this shot is just like how bright it is and the lighting and like the glow that it's giving. Um, and then obviously going into the background, it's just like 
a ton of depth of these white walkways and railings and everything. And I just think it's really cool. And you kind of get that contrasty warm um, on the left side. And then like the whole bottom of the frame is like more cool, cool white. And I just think it's really interesting. Um, and then this spot, super basic, just a uh, escalator. And what I do like about these shots that you're about to see is kind of the desaturation of it. You know, if you seen my instagram lately i've been desaturating everything um and i really like this these shots i was pretty much just able to do whatever i wanted with the warm and the cool tone so i ended up bringing in the cool tones from the left and the right and then top down put a graduated filter warmed up warmed up warms it up a little bit but then just kind of up the exposure and i just think it gives like a really cool effect of like her she's getting top lit um and it's just like this really narrow escalator and then this was the last location that we shot at and it was just a staircase i was like super close to where we were parked um and overall i actually think these came out really cool because as you can see from the video it's really really warm here the lighting was super super warm and so what i ended up doing with these is like kind of giving like a sepia tone this is another one of my favorite shots um pretty much desaturated everything because there was a really much saturation anyways um i kind of just pushed out those like green yellows and oranges um, and kind of gave it that sepia. I think sepia is the word, I could be wrong, but that sepia tone. Um, and I think the lighting here was also really cool. And kind of like the contrast with the stairs, really giving it like a lot of depth as well. I, that photo is pretty cool, just shooting with some, something in the foreground. It was like a post or something like that. And then for the last photo, nothing too crazy, but this was shooting in the opposite direction. This is probably my least favorite photo out of all of them. Um, but I think it's still pretty cool. She's showing off, obviously she's a ballet dancer, so she wants to show off like her point or whatever it's called, like her standing like that on her tippy toes. Um, and that is going to be it for the shoot. I hope this voiceover was not too annoying. Uh, I've never done this before, so we'll see how the format feels. But overall, I think the shoot went really, really well. Um, if you want to check those out, I haven't posted them on Instagram yet. I will be posting them soon, but make sure you check me out at jfern.visions. You can also check her out. I'll put her at in the description. I've said this before. Every single time I do a video about portraits, I am not a portrait photographer. Don't consider myself a portrait photographer. There are people out there who dedicate everything they do and only take portraits. That is not me, but I do enjoy taking portraits every once in a while, especially at nighttime. Um, I think when you're shooting at night, just adds a whole different element, whole different challenges. Um, and you're just really able to, I don't know, to, to get creative at nighttime when you're taking portraits, which I love. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this format. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how it comes out. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It does really help, especially if you hit that like button. Um, it helps a ton and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.